Welcome to the News Hub. I'm Clemency Burton Hill. We're looking there at an image of a melanoma on human skin, a melanoma that could potentially be cancerous. And as they say, there's an app for that. But would you ever trust a medical diagnosis from your smartphone over a visit to the doctor? Well, a host of apps are inching into the turf of doctors and medical device makers by promising to measure things like heart rates, display x-ray images, and even detect melanomas, just like the one we've been looking at. But how reliable really are they? Christopher Weaver is a Wall Street Journal reporter, and he joins me in the studio now. I have to say that looking at that image, I'm, I'm not sure I would trust my phone over. We used to think that phones would cause cancer, not <laughs> diagnose cancer. What's going on here? So, you know, these apps have sort of migrated from like really basic health functions like tracking your weight loss goals, right? To things that sort of look like diagnoses, right? And that's got, sort of being the operative word. Well, you know, the companies are really clear about not making claims because they don't want to have to worry about dealing with the US FDA. Um, you know, they say it's for engagement and awareness, right? But it looks a lot like a diagnosis, and that's got some doctors sort of worried. There's not a lot of clinical evidence. They're not very well regulated. And uh, uh, what we're talking about today is this doctor who decided, well, we, we don't know anything about these, and they're giving people guidance on whether a mole's become cancerous. Maybe we should, you know, take a look at a few of these things. And what did they find when they did? Well, they found actually that the, uh, the range of effectiveness for these apps, apps that specifically look at moles to see whether there are signs of melanoma, skin cancer, is like, amazingly wide. The best caught like more than 98% of moles that are turned into cancer. That's, That's pretty, pretty good. good. That's better than like dermatologists typically do in studies. And was that just with the app or are the results or the findings of the app somehow being sent then for other diagnoses? So, so we'll get to that. So the, the worst one, I should say, hit only like 7% of cancer of, of moles that are turned into cancer, right? So there's, there's two different ways these that work. The, the best one uh, was the only one in the, in the study group of only four apps that uh, sort of forwarded the picture to board certified dermatologists. They would look at it, um, tell you whether they saw the signs of trouble and send it back. Right. I mean, All, these apps are typically like five bucks a pop, right? Well, yeah, th th this one I just described is five bucks per mole that you send. Right. Um, pretty cheap doctor's visit, actually. Well, that's the um, thing. I mean, but is the idea that, you know, do you think that we'll see doctors eventually sanctioning this when it is just a kind of gateway to getting them back, getting the patient back to them? Or, I mean, is there a sense that the doctors are going to say, you have to come visit us, this is not... Well, I mean, look, if, if it turns out that it's bad, you have to go see your doctor because the phone can't, you know, take a biopsy, right? But if the phone tells you that it's good, like the one you were just describing, that looks pretty scary if they were, you know, in your report, it says dozens of swollen, discolored <laughs> yeah. cancers. Now, that app is saying that, that, that they're benign, you know, presumably... Sure, I mean, this is a big concern, right? Because if, you, if you're getting you know, false negatives, if it's really cancer, but it seems fine, you know, people might delay care, and that's what doctors worry about. Uh, you know, on the other hand, people might delay care anyway. So some of the app makers say, you know, we're, we're you know, giving people a way to keep tabs on this issue, and you know, hopefully it'll make them think about it more, and maybe even sort of push them to see a doctor sooner. And, and to be fair, you know, some of these apps did pretty good, actually. 70% uh, of cancers were detected yeah. by two of them. That's not terrible. It certainly seems to tap into the general trend of people wanting to use technology to further educate themselves and diagnose things. Christopher Weaver, thank you very much for joining us. Great story there in the paper today and on WSJ.com.